Literature often consists of definitions and terms that may be difficult for students in middle school to understand. One way to familiarize the students with literature terms is by gathering them in groups and discussing personal stories that can represent memoirs, dramas, or a short story. In this manner, the students will be able to relate themselves to certain literary elements and hopefully be able to remember them in the future. After discussing with them their personal stories, it would be helpful to have them type their story and then identify what kind of literary element was present. You can also check their work for any misspelling, punctuation, and sentence correction. Dalton Middle School literacy classes use many different tools to learn the different sorts of figurative languages. One of these tools is having the students use the smart board. Explain to the students what a simile and metaphor is and the difference between the terms. Also provide examples of similes and metaphors so the students will begin to understand the concept behind it. If the students begin to compare objects that don't necessarily have anything in common, like a pillow and a rock, have them correct their simile or metaphor until it is right and makes sense. After practicing their similes and metaphors with a smart board for an extended amount of time, the students should have understand the basic concept behind these literary devices. Another form to educate the students is by placing them in groups to work together on a certain task. This is quite common in many classrooms and can be a powerful tool when used correctly. Set up a goal for the students to accomplish at the end of the work. In that matter, you won't feel as if you didn't achieve anything with the students and their progress in the particular area of study can be evaluated. In these cases shown on the video, the students are given a list of characteristics in which they are to add a subject they are assigned. The students must work cooperatively to add all the characteristics to their assigned subject. Teamwork is also influenced in this assignment, which is crucial in terms of the real world, so the students are learning two valuable lessons at once. Here the students are asked to identify the parts of a sentence. A quite simple task, but exposing the students more to this material helps them to permanently understand the task and be able to do it in the future with no problem. Students at Dalton Middle School were also assigned a book to read with the respective amount of people in their group. After reading to a certain chapter in the book, the students are brought together and are told to discuss what occurred in the book. Students often feel more comfortable among themselves as they can relate to each other and be able to discuss the events in the book in a more relaxed form, instead of flashing the spotlight on them by asking a more specific question, like what happened on page 62 in the middle of class. Oftentimes, the students will become intrigued with the book and hopefully remain closer to books later in their life. Working in groups can be quite efficient with the correct planning and evaluation. A bit of patience is also needed. Nevertheless, the end result will definitely be worth it. Literature is a crucial educational tool. It is the foundation to other areas of study, like science, math, and history. Therefore, the students should be well informed and constantly exposed to literature. There are a variety of ways to teach the students about literature. Working in groups is the most common way, but also working one-on-one -on -one with the students could prove to be more successful. A teacher must be engaged and committed to help the students. There must be a certain attitude and work ethic present to be able to inform their students to their highest potential. At Dalton Middle School, teachers strive their students for the best and attempt to attain a close relationship with their students to help them succeed in the future.